Welcome to Super AGI. In this tutorial, I will guide you through how to work with open source large language models using APIs from Super AGI models. In this video, we will look at a customer support use case. Feel free to select any model that's available in Super AGI models, but for this use case, we will use the Mistral 7 billion model. This model leverages Byte Fallback BPE tokenizer to ensure that characters are never mapped to out of vocabulary tokens. This makes Mistral an interesting choice for building autonomous customer support agents that require a deep understanding of niche terminologies, product names, or industry specific terms. To get started, head to the Mistral 7 billion model and navigate to the API section. For this tutorial, we will call the HTTP API using Python to work with this model. To demonstrate this, I've created a Google Colab file where I've already defined the environment variables and imported required libraries. Here you will need to enter an API token that can be generated from Super AGI model's profile settings. I have also defined the functions to make API calls to the Mistral 7 model. This function will take a prompt as input and return the generated response. And here, you will have to enter a scenario as a prompt for which you want to generate a response. I will link this Colab file in the video description. Now to start with, we will head over to the profile section in the top right corner and click on create a key to generate your API token. For now, we will call it Mistral Support. Once generated, copy the key and paste it in the Colab file. Now let's define a prompt for a scenario where a customer is facing issue of delay in delivery. Now let's run it. And you can see, the model has successfully generated the required response using Mistral 7 billion model. This tutorial should give you a good idea of how to use Super AGI models for a customer support use case. To learn more about Super AGI models, feel free to join our Discord or follow us on Twitter. See you next time!